Hey feminine, let's go ahead and jump right into this reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. Please do keep in mind, you all, these are general messages. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Feminine, you have somebody thinking about you, honey. This love call card just wants to come out. All right, somebody is in love with you. So they're thinking about you nonstop, wanting to let you know that you're on their mind, okay? You're always on this person's mind is what it feels like. All right, so they want to let you know that. It says, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. They are beyond attracted to you because of how affectionate you are, the type of person you are. All right, you're very loving, very nurturing. Okay, this person is aiming to figure out how they're going to play their hand of cards. I love feminine. I care about feminine. How am I going to go about letting them know? Maybe they don't want to just come flat out and say, hey, I love you. I'm falling in love with you. They should say that. But this person may feel uncomfortable with doing that for some reason. Okay, so it says take a chance. Okay, risk. Being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. This person doesn't want to let you know how much they care about you. They may do like the complete opposite, which may put you, you know, in this area of not really knowing how you feel about them, you know? It's like, well, Blue did say this, or I do feel this, but they're not saying this. So am I just making it up in my head? No. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, okay, oneness, and enjoying each other. They really do enjoy you, all right? This person could think that either you don't care about them that way or you don't care about them the same way you once did, something like that, okay? So there's a reason why they don't say much or they don't speak up on it, okay? Let us see. We, yep, paradise and keys on a ring. Okay, so if anything, I feel like you may be in your mind thinking this person has so many other options or this is what they're thinking. Okay, you have so many other options. You know, the way that they're drawn to you, so are so many other people or something like that. They just may be really insecure. That's what it's given. It's given insecure. Okay, as if they feel like because they feel this way about you everybody feels this way about you or something like that and even if they do what difference would it make if you don't feel that way towards everybody you know what i'm saying that's the more important thing but let us get into the tarot we got the five of cups and the moon card so somebody is in regret over not having spoken up about what it is that they're feeling okay two of swords is leading by faith and not by sight all right so yeah this person may have a lot of options as in you you may have a lot of options a lot of people that want to date you or want to get to know you better but ten of pentacles you're looking for something stable you're looking for something secure you're looking for someone that you can grow with this person that we're referring to could be an air sign person but they do not have to be this is someone that is very wise okay they could be older than you but again could just be wise beyond their years you know somebody with an old soul okay let us see this person is an overthinker okay and their overthinking plays into their insecurities a lot all right so yeah we have the nine of wands very guarded this could be them this could be you knight of wands so they have this passion for you that they're afraid to express again out of fear that they're not the only person that feels that way about you Okay, there are other people that feel that way towards you as well. And so, you know, their concern is, should I let it be known that I'm thinking this? Or are you going to take advantage of my feelings and emotions? This person could be used to dealing with narcissists. Okay, they could also be a narcissist. This is somebody that's very absorbed with themselves. If that's the case, not really thinking about you too much or not really thinking about others too much, but find themselves thinking about you more than they typically think about anybody else. Yeah, because you're divine feminine. <laughs> so you're dealing with somebody who always only thinks of them. And this is why you have your guard up with this person. But you know that they love you. And you love them unconditionally. Like, you know this is a narcissist. You know this is, <laughs> you know this is somebody that only cares about them. But you love them anyway. Like, you truly love them. So that part doesn't matter. You know? It's not to say, oh my God, you're a narcissist. And it literally doesn't mean a thing that you're like that. You know, it doesn't bother me. But at the same time, you love this person for who they are. And you just deal with them accordingly. You know, it's something like that going on okay like here are the wands up against this person you're 
guarding yourself you're protecting yourself meanwhile over here this is open and then look at this little itty bitty fence it's not really serious for real you know it's like you're guarding yourself from this person but not really at the same time they still have access to you this person wants to reunite with you in some way with the three of cups here okay that's reunion that's a uh, celebratory energy so they want to come together and celebrate celebrate what love the love that they feel like they have for you person fantasizes and daydreams about you all the time so again, you have this very selfish person <laughs> wanting to be selfless when it comes to you. Six of Cups, okay? You make them feel like a, a kid again or you make them feel real giddy or something. King of Pentacles, okay? Very grounded, very stable person. Could be Earth sign, okay? Again, don't have to be. You know, they don't have to be what I mentioned, but it goes to mention that they could be. All right, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person. All right, somebody that cares about, again, their sense of security. Okay, so it says thinking of you and letting you know. Yeah, six of wands, they want to bring it to your awareness. They care about you in a way that they don't typically care for people. But in some way, this person is nervous to really let their guard down with you just in case they get their feelings hurt. You know, narcissists don't just become narcissists. Like things happen to make them that way. Okay. But we have the four of cups and we have the nine of swords. This person is worried in some way, shape, from a fashion that they're not good enough for you. Okay. Now you could have told them that you could have never said that at all, but that's how they feel. They feel like they're not good enough for you. Okay. Now it could be that narcissistic thing. The empress is very nurturing, very loving, very compassionate. And I did mention you're very affectionate. I said that earlier. In the event that this person is not like that, or again, and even that this person only thinks about themselves or, you know, anything like that, of course, they're going to feel like they're not good enough for you because you're not like that. You think about everybody. You don't just think about yourself, you know. So here I am, this individual that only thinks of me. Why would this person that thinks of everybody be interested in me? Right. Because all I care about is me, except for I feel this person has shown you multiple times that they care about you. OK, 707 on the timestamp. We have the four of wands, which is twin flame union, page of cups, which is reconciliation judgment, which is, like I said, my phone call card. Judgment is not a card that represents phone calls, but that's what it's always represented for me as a reader. OK, so, yeah, I feel like somebody wants to, like I said, from the very beginning, reach out, let you know they're thinking of you, let you know that they love you, let you know that they're ready to take this risk. However, I'm also taking that hand of cards as you looking at it like how I was just holding my cards and saying, yeah, I love this person. This is my twin. However, with me knowing who and how this person is, is that something that I want to deal with? You know, this person could also be so full of themselves that they have all of these options that they string along. They have all of these all of these people that they deal with, but they don't deal with anybody to the degree or to the extent that they deal with you. Regardless, it's still not enough for you. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that because the seven of cups could also be a lot of options. You know, four of cups being discontent. Yeah, they have other options, but until or unless the other options could ever be you, which they can't, it's never going to be enough. You know, so it's that type of thing. Yeah, the queen of pen the queen to the king. Go figure. Okay, the three of swords here is the underlining. The ace of cups sticking his head out. The ace of pentacles right here. This is somebody that even if they are non-committal, the only person they see themselves ever fully committing to is you. It's something about you. Maybe you're able to tell that person about themselves in a way that other people are not. And I say that because the sword and the rose. Now, I'm not saying that a grown man wants to nor appreciates being disrespected. So please do not be out here disrespecting no grown men. But what I'm saying is when you're able to, you know, be upfront, you're able to be honest, you're able to speak your truth with them. They really respect that when you're able to tell them about themselves. But again, not in a way where it's disrespectful respectful in a way where it's truthful it's honest you know it's still nurturing and caring i'm saying this with love you know i'm not just out here disrespect i'm saying it with love you know they know you have good intentions so they appreciate that everything that you say is rooted in in good intentions you're very uh poised okay look at the queen of pentacles the way that you carry yourself they really admire that the way you keep it together no matter what you're feeling no matter what's going on no matter what people say how you you know um look that day or whatever you still keep yourself together okay now look that day was very random but that's what they said okay it's the way that you keep yourself together no matter what 
okay no matter what's going on inside no matter what's going on around you etc they really admire the way you keep it together honey okay let us see okay very random messages maybe they told you that before or something you know you might feel like oh i only have on sweatpants and my hair tied back you know remember that line okay <laughs> what he said sweatpants hair tied chilling with no makeup on right that's when you the prettiest honey i hope that you don't take it wrong because i get to see you as who you really are without all the layers without the mask without the who you try to be for everybody else you just being yourself for me that is the most attractive thing they probably think you the sexiest when you like that you know we have the hangman yeah this person is stuck on you like glue boo and with the high priestess here you know it you know it <laughs> king of wands okay aries leo sagittarius double emphasis on leo triple emphasis on leo okay so somebody could be a leo dealing with a leo or have leo placements okay if not leo rules the will so this is somebody that is wanting things to go in their favor regardless of what's happening okay let us see what's this nine of wands and why does sheesh okay the ace of wands yeah so in other words they want to try to take this energy and transmute it into their you know to their advantage or to their favor okay yeah, they have a lot of options, but this person said they want you. They don't want these options, honey. Okay, let us see. The Hermit and the Empress. What is this? Six of Pentacles. You're staying to yourself until or unless they can give you something equal to what you can give them. Okay, Six of Cups. Sheesh. Yeah, this person is thinking back to how they lied. They messed this up. They did something where... They weren't honest with you about the decisions or the choices they were making. And now they're all in their head overthinking as to how they can play these cards. Like I said, you know, I have to be very strategic. How am I going to go about doing this? Because I feel like we're compatible. However, you know, this person, again, is a reason why they don't express what it is that they're feeling. Okay. It's a reason why they are like this. But they feel like they have to let you know or they're going to lose you, okay? Because, again, with that keys on a ring, twins mirror. So, not only do they have options, I feel like you have a lot of options, too. Okay, nine of swords and the four of cups. The nine of pentacles, yeah, single independent justice. They feel like that would just be their karma. That would just be what it is, you know, because that's the energy they put into the universe. Six of pentacles, what you put out there, you get back. Okay, so you being single, you doing your thing, you dating whomever you want to date. This person aiming to pull on your energy, but you're not coming through because, well, you know, that's their karma. So that's their biggest fear, it feels like. But with the hangman, some of them could be learning a very tough lesson right now. Okay, not to play with their twin flame. Okay, it's not a jokey joke. We have the judgment card, the four of wands, the page of cups, the three of pentacles. It's all about commitment here. That's what they want. Yeah, but now you're in this energy like, okay, prove it. You know, show me that what you say is real. This person is putting together a plan, like I said. Seven of Wands to show you that this is worth fighting for. Okay, some of you may feel like this person is um, argumentative or something like that. Okay, could be another reason why you just stay to yourself. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. You stay to yourself, you focus on work. Okay, you're very successful, whatever it is that you do. Some of you could have just recently graduated or been promoted or you soon will graduate or be promoted. Congratulations. This person is going to surprise you, show up at your um, your graduation for those of you who are graduating. Okay, let us see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, they want reunion with you. Five of Wands in reverse. No more putting you in competition with others. No more even considering other options to be a replacement because they realize it's just not it's not the case okay ten of cups this is what they want with you they want marriage they want happily ever after this person might be new to like i said expressing their feelings or something you know but this person feels they would much rather be with you than without you without you they feel three of swords with you they feel nine of cups okay the hangman yeah this person is stuck on you because they're in love oh sheesh what's the hangman what do we have? We got the sun card and the seven of wands. Yeah, this person makes me so happy. So I'm going to stand up and fight for this. I'm going to find a way to make this work. I'm going to find a way to make this happen. Underline the energy is temperance, divine timing, divine intervention. Your spirit says, listen, they got to go through something. They have to learn something first. Okay, there's something here about a lesson that they still have not learned when it comes to how you treat people and what you put out there okay yeah this person has to learn something first and once they do i feel like this is going to come together 
okay but i pray that this helps you i know that it will this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and heavies